Hey everybody, so welcome to the video. In this video I want to talk about uh, like creating the life that you want, manifesting your dreams, setting intentions each day to create the life of your dreams and to, to, your, to create and manifest your goals, your achieve success according to you and what you want makes you happy in life. So, Most of us lead an unconscious, like dreamy state of existence, and a lot of that's due to the fact that we're ingesting materials like food and drugs or liquids that take away from our clarity or make us tired. Um, so in this video, I want to state the importance of knowing what you really want in life, um, knowing what you what you really want, and going after it with persistence and consistency. Do as many positive things for your health, your body, your life as possible, as many healthy or positive practices. Try and balance your life as much as possible. For example, like try and choose a healthy environment or home or place to live in, to work in. Some people try to look after your health and do loads of different health practices such as skin brushing or cleaning your skin really really good in the, the bath or the shower, going for a walk, exercise, yoga or meditation or mindfulness or deep breathing, getting the sunshine, um, getting your, all of your needs met, social needs, business needs, creativity, fun, enjoyment, lots of different stuff. So I, we need to visualize what we want, our dream, in order to be persistent and consistent with actually doing what we need to do to get it. I was watching a three minute video the other day, or four minute, of a boy who's 17, who achieved, he's a multi-millionaire, and he says the difference between him, there's a difference between an active dreamer and a lazy dreamer, and what makes him successful and other people not successful regarding wealth and achieving what you want is he, he He's like a GPS, he says. He calculates the destination he wants. And no matter where the road turns, if there's a little, like, uh, uh, an obstacle or a blockage or something happens or he falls off somehow, he always just recalculates. So he's always just persistent and making sure he gets there. So he's always trying to go forward and get the route to his destination. So we need to be like that with what we want if it comes to, like, relationships, health, um, career, business, family, um, various different cre creative projects we have. We need to get up when we have a fall, we need to get back up again and learn and not to be demoralized but have a, a positive, optimistic mindset is so important. And the more clearly we visualize in our mind's eye, in our imagination, the power of imagination is very important the more clearly we see what we want precisely and we feel happy and joyful like, and feel like it's within our grasp we feel more empowered and confident that we can achieve this so it inspires us and we need to keep our vision remind ourselves and to keep it visualizing and stay in touch and then contact with the dream we have for ourselves, okay? So, it'll keep us motivated and inspired, as I said, and do as many things as you do that are good for you as possible. Don't be attached to any anything, like any one person or dream or idea or notion. Life is constantly changing. So be open to even better things that you've imagined, but, but don't settle for the things worse than you can imagine. That's brilliant for you, okay? So I think that's a good message. Um, Like for example, I want to like live in the tropics, and here I am now in Thailand, and like I want a certain type of relationship, and I want I want to be like Bruce Lee again. Like I want really good health and vibrant, energetic, energetic, like electric vitality. I want like super energy, like I used to have. So I try to do as many good things as possible, and don't settle for second best. Like don't settle for bad stuff. Be picky and choosy with your thoughts, your focusing on your words, what you do, and who you who you be with in life, any kind of friendship or relationship. And don't put up about stuff that's not people who are not nice to you either. Like 
you now have to learn to say no and to get away from the stuff that doesn't serve you and you don't want. Do what makes you happy every like every ten minutes, every moment. S switch to what makes you feel happy. Don't do things and neglect and tolerate stuff that's crap for you. Okay, that doesn't make you happy. Like just stop abandoning yourself and neglecting yourself. Don't tolerate what doesn't make you delighted. So check in my last video. Stop tolerating what you do not deserve or desire. I'll cl just click here. So I think that's all I want to say. So everyone have a lovely day and f make sure to like, please, if you like the video. Share with your family and friends on social media. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment if you want. And friend me on Facebook below in the link box. And check out my herb shop and my life coaching, clarity coaching below. And more about me below. And I'd love to hear from you and connect with you sometime. Have a great day, everybody. See you.